Hello and welcome to the console explosions One Life to Live. I'm the Historic Nerd and today we're going to be playing Verdun. An event that basically 102 years ago actually kicked off several weeks ago and has proceeded to drain France and Germany of thousands of young men in the conflict of World War I. So let's go ahead and play in Champagne and we're going to try and just be a random foot soldier in the conflict. We may be French or German, we'll see which side. And I'm going to try and go until I die or whatever. But given that it's World War I, this may or may not last very long. So Verdun is a fantastic kind of independent game that's been developed. And was well in development before World War, basically Battlefield 1 was announced. So this game has been essentially independently developed and has a very, very high-end focus on realism and kind of just the conflict. So it looks like we got a group there in 1988, which means I'm probably a German a German foot soldier. It's like primary, okay, so like that. It's like both primary, okay, secondary, it's like a Ruger. Let's start okay. And I'm up the front. Try and live as long as we possibly can. This is a pretty grueling war, so I'm probably going to get picked off by a sniper. And notably, uh, World War One was fought in kind of static lines. I mean, initially in the, in the war, it was fought pretty, pretty wide, sweeping motions that that kind of swept across Europe as the uh, von Stephen plan when German forces kind of rolled through Europe, Northern Europe, in an effort to kind of break the French lines. Which it did, they actually ended up pushing into French territory and fought the majority of World War I on French soil, at least on the Western Front. Didn't make it that long. Alrighty, so that was one life to live in World War One. Great. <laughs>